Hey folks, so today um, I'm just checking in on the Mad Barber uh, Aurora figure kit that I've got consigned with Heritage Auctions and it's now the, let's see, the 4th of August and the auction ends on the 18th I believe, it's got 14 days left um, initially the first few bits of bidding I saw it was only up to about 300 and some dollars uh, but it's taken a jump it is at $1,050 and that's US funds so yeah um, that's where we're at now for that kit um, and yeah so what we're gonna do is follow it uh, over the next few days and then through the final bidding so we'll see how it goes uh, looking forward to watching it sell. Uh, hoping, crossing my fingers, it gets about 3,000 US, 3,500 US, something like that. That's the hope. So I guess we'll see. All right, stay tuned with me and uh, we'll see what it goes for. Now, I've also got another lot up of uh, some posters, some Canadian Aurora advertising posters. So they're not real high right now, but uh, I've had them for quite a while. So it was time to sell them. Uh, it's at $210. So that's still not too bad. So we'll see what they go for as well. We'll watch them at pretty much the same time. So we'll see. All right, stay tuned, guys, and uh, we'll follow the auction along. So it is now the 7th, and there's 11 days, 5 hours, 38 minutes left in the auction. And we're up to $1,550. And the posters are at 210 at this point. So yeah, and uh, got something interesting in the mail. Uh, the Heritage Auction sent a brochure. So yeah, and uh, lo and behold, my model kit's on the back. So that's kind of cool. Thought that was neat or the front I'm not sure which this would be uh, front of the brochure I think is actually the Star Wars thing um, but uh, this is quite visible on the back here so that's pretty cool Thought that was neat anyway so we'll uh, see how it goes just keeping you updated so I was just uh, refreshing the page and uh, did a quick search for Aurora kits just to see what else HA had. That's Heritage Auctions. Um, and yeah, it jumped up to 2100 So we're up a bit and uh, we have seven days still to go. Uh, sorry, not seven days, 11 days still to go. So it could be interesting. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to watching the final hours of it. But uh, I just came across something kind of interesting. Uh, the special bidding uh, time limit. There's normal bidding, and that's bids that are taken up till 7 p.m. Uh, the night of the auction closes. And then they run a 15-minute ending. So on a lot-by-lot -lot basis, starting at 7 p.m., any person who has bid on the lot previously may continue to bid on that lot until there are no more bids for 15 minutes. For example, if you bid on a lot during normal bidding, you could participate during extended bidding for that lot, but not on lots you did not bid on previously. So basically, you would have had to have bid previously to actually get a chance to bid in the last 15 minutes and have the auction extended because of your bid. So... If you're interested in the item, you have to bid during regular bidding to be able to get in on the final bidding. So, yeah. Anyway, interesting. Uh, I guess, so there's nine bidders now. So those nine bidders have an opportunity to bid more during the extended bidding. But in, they uh, won't allow new bidders in during the extended bidding. Interesting. Um, yeah, not quite the way all auctions work, but uh, that one, yeah, I guess it keeps the riffraff out or something, but I guess we'll see how it goes from here. So we're at uh, 17 minutes left in the bidding and still at 2300 So 
a little disappointed. I figured it would jump up a little bit before the end of the auction, but uh, so far nothing. I guess we'll see. Um, this last 17 minutes might happen in the last three minutes, two minutes, who knows. So we'll, we'll see, and uh, we'll catch it in uh, the last few minutes. So oh, I just got a text message. I was wondering where it came from, but it was Heritage Auctions saying that there was 10 minutes uh, before extended bidding. So anyway, yeah, so they're quite uh, proficient in getting this all uh, organized and done for uh, consigners and such. So I thought that's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, it's still at 2300 though. Hasn't gone up. So if it uh, doesn't go up in the next five minutes, it's going to stick it to, or sell for 2300 That's before buyer's premium. And I think with buyer's premium, it's another couple hundred. So I think it's about 2500 with buyer's premium. We'll take a quick look. Um, let's see here. Yeah, with buyer's, actually with buyer's premium, it's 2800 Seventy-five dollars. So yeah. So yeah, it's. Uh, let's see. So we got four minutes happening. Four minutes, twenty-five seconds. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna keep the camera on it here at. Uh, let's see at um, how many minutes? Three minutes and thirty some seconds. So we'll just keep the camera rolling and uh, see if we get another bid or not. Just catch some action, hopefully. Cross your fingers. See how it goes here. So we got three minutes and under 20 seconds. Yeah. Come on, come on. I'd like to see it rise. Now, previous kits, I, I may have mentioned this earlier in the video or may not have, but previous kits have sold just the parts on uh, eBay for $2,500 and the box and instructions sold for around a thousand so theoretically it should sell for at least 3500 but uh, yeah so I was really hoping it would uh, get up there to that but uh, it hasn't yet so we'll see I guess anyway but uh, making money on it significant amount of money because it did only cost me $60 so I'm doing fine on it as well. Um, but I was really hoping for significantly more to get my bank account back kind of in, in order after spending so much money you know, over the last uh, month or so uh, with renovations and bills and such. And I've got property taxes coming up next uh, and uh, also have um, car... Uh, or vehicle insurance as well coming up so there's another oh, two thousand dollars to spend next month or so so yeah was really hoping it would go up significantly and uh, help with that sort of thing so we got one minute and 45 seconds to go so we'll see if somebody else bids in the last minute or last 30 seconds that tends to be what happens at times so we'll see what happens so we got a minute and a half. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah, minute twenty, minute twenty, or sorry, minute fifteen, minute fourteen, thirteen, twelve. So no jumps yet. Gonna cross on my fingers here, but it doesn't look doesn't look good, guys. It doesn't look like it's gonna go up again. Still fine, not unhappy, but a uh, little disappointed. I thought it'd go a lot higher. Oh well. So I guess we'll see what happens. Forty-two seconds, forty-one seconds, forty seconds, thirty-nine, thirty-eight, thirty-seven, thirty-six, thirty-five, thirty-four, thirty-three, thirty-two. 31. If anything's going to happen, it'll happen now. So, yeah. Doesn't look like it, guys. 25 seconds left. 23 seconds. No extended bidding by the looks of it. Proxy ends in 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Here we go. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sold. Oh, wait a second. Extended bidding in progress. It just jumped to $2,400. Oh, right on. So it just went up by t to 2400 14 minutes left back in the auction. So we jumped a little bit. Uh, jumped $100. We'll see where it jumps again in 14 minutes. So I'll tune in again uh, shortly after. Oh, let's wait another 10 minutes or so. Maybe 12 minutes. So there's only two minutes left. That's probably when somebody will bid again. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Stay tuned. So I was thinking while we're waiting... Um, we'll check on the previous auction, or not the previous auction, the auction uh, of the posters. So we'll see where it went. Oh, it got extended as well. That's interesting. Um, yeah. Let's see where it's at. It's at $250 according to this. So it went up $40. So that's good. Went up a little bit. So it's going up as well. Okay, cool. All right, we'll go back to the Mad Barber. And we're at uh, 10 minutes, 57, 54 seconds. And yeah, so we'll come back to it in a moment. So I'm just uh, going through some of the bidding action on the uh, other items that are in this auction. And it looks like the Mad Barber is pretty much the top uh, or highest dollar item that uh, is in this sale. Oh well, maybe not. There's one for three thousand. Uh, where did it go? One for three thousand and some. There it is. So yeah, uh, three thirty one hundred for what was it? Uh, Star Wars Sand People. That's kind of interesting. Oh, there's another one for three thousand. So it's not. Maybe not the top dollar one. There's a twenty-eight hundred dollars uh, Star Wars Sand People again. Uh, there's a Boba Fett for fourteen hundred. So there's uh, there's quite a quite a bit here. There's the Mad Barber at twenty-four. So anyway, yeah. Go back to the uh, sale here. Uh, so we're still at two fifty for these posters. And Mad Barber is at still at 2400 with eight minutes to go. So we'll check back in a couple minutes. All right, we're down to a minute 40 seconds. So we'll see if it uh, gets bumped up again. That'll be good if it does. Hoping it does. Let's see what kind of jump it makes if it does at all. Crossing my fingers it does, though, of course. Waiting, waiting, waiting. So yeah, we got a minute, just over a minute to go. So we'll see if it gets bumped up. And uh, you know, we're at about a minute. Let's see. I've got Jake over here beside me wanting to go for a walk, so <laughs> I don't know whether uh, we'll be able to or not we'll see i guess 47 seconds 46 45 44 43 42 41 there we go 2400 let's see where we're going here 30 seconds so is it going to get bid in the last 10 seconds again <laughs> or is it going to get bid at all Yes, we'll see. So 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looks like it sold. Sold for $2,400 plus buyer's premium, which is $3,000. So yeah, the the uh, buyer's premium goes to the auction house at 600 us so they make a pretty good chunk on that 
but uh, bidding is closed. So let's check out the posters. Um, let's see, we'll go back here. Here's the posters. Current bid, no reserve. Uh, let's see, current bid of 250. Now I don't know whether it's sold or not. Um, I'm assuming that's sold. Current bid of 250. No reserve track item. There's. I'm assuming it's over. Um, let's see, buyer's premium. Of, so they made uh, sixty-two dollars off that. So I did two fifty US on that one. So I guess that's not bad. Um, let's see. And yeah. So proxy bidding's closed for both. Uh, so I did uh, twenty-six fifty US on the two lots. So that's all right. Not as good as I'd hoped, um, but got to be happy enough with that. You can never tell with auctions, so, but uh, yeah, I was hoping for more, but oh well. Anyway, so that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks.